Are you worried about dealing with headache-inducing tenants? Stay tuned to this week's episode of Prime Properties TV to find out exactly how to deal with some sticky situations. I promise you, it'll be worth it. Good day, Toronto. Welcome to another episode of Prime Properties TV. So glad you joined us here. Recently, I've been working on a few changes to the business, rather some large ones, but I'll be announcing them soon. It's a secret, so I can't really tell you anything. So for the time being, in this week's episode of Prime Props TV, I'll be continuing lesson two from a mini series I'm creating called Landlord Lessons. This lesson will be focusing on how to deal with tenants. There are many, 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 many horror stories that have happened in the past. I'm not going to teach you how to deal with each and every single of them on its own. As much as you want to be prepared for those, it's almost impossible to deal with them because you're dealing with people, emotions, and housing issues at the same time. At the end of it though, you have a good story, but during the troubling times, it won't be fun, but it actually will be worth it because the equity you create is massive. So I wanna give you my tips on how to deal with tenants proactively rather than reactively. So first off, I find most first time landlords need kind of a slight mindset adjustment. After filling your first property, you need to understand that you are now officially a business owner. Treat your investment property as a one room hotel. Yes, a one room hotel. That tenant of yours is technically also your client. So you should treat them as you would treat a client. The tenant client of yours is actually paying your rent to cover your mortgages every month, plus probably more because you'll be cash flow positive if you're working with me. It's a mutually beneficial relationship. You provide them with housing and they provide you with money. So treat them like a client. In a hotel, if there are any issues with the guests will call, somebody addresses the issue right away. You should do the same, but within a 24 hour window, of course. Do not be an absentee landlord. I find a great way to start off the client-landlord relationship is actually give them a welcome package. This can be an easy $50 gift basket full of cleaning supplies and a handwritten welcoming note saying, hey, enjoy the unit. I bet you anything they will be grateful for that and remember you as a landlord are also a person as well when things go sideways. When things do go wrong, and sometimes they will, it'll be easier to mutually come to agreeable terms with this tenant slash client. Another good tip I like to employ is dropping by during the holidays with a small little holiday gift. Whether that is like a bottle of wine or some Christmas cookies to say thanks and happy holidays, this will go a long way. This also lets you check in on them and your properties at the same time. When you're a present landlord, the likelihood of property destruction is significantly lower. I can promise you that. Now, as much as you can be pleasant and nice with your tenants, you 100% need to serve any type of notice should you need to immediately despite how great of a relationship you have with your tenant and client. There are forms on the landlord and tenant board that you can find and I'll put a link in the description below for every single circumstance. A very common example is if the tenant is late on rent. I don't care how friendly or how good of a tenant they are, you must serve the notice of late rent immediately. This is very, very important. The reason you want to do this is because it takes a certain amount of time even before you can start the eviction process notice. And should they continue to not pay rent, you have a head start in moving them out. You don't want a tenant staying in there for free and the eviction process can take very, very long. And that means during this entire time, no rent is coming in and you are paying out of your pocket for mortgage carrying costs. Big problem. This is meant to be a very quick summary of some of the main principles I go by for how to deal with tenants. It's not really an extensive list, but in summary, just remember this, treat your tenants as clients and being a present landlord and a small gift here and there really go a long way and always, always, always serve your notices immediately when required. Thank you guys for watching. If you learned something in this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you like the content on the channel, you can subscribe to the channel right here, the PPTO button. If you have comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment section below, or you can feel free to contact me. I'll leave my contacts here for you guys. Until next time, guys. Happy real estate. I'm calling less. <laughs> <gasps>